welcome to Integrity Maintenance Solutions Field Service Technician Training. This video will cover personal protective equipment, equipment setup, chemicals, sweeping, dust mopping, auto scrubbing, mopping, burnishing. When entering the store, be sure to clock in with the UKG Ready mobile app. After clocking in, proceed to the supply closet. Take a picture of your automatic scrubber. Post the picture into your swept app. This will notify your supervisor that you are in the store and ready to begin working. Be sure that you have all your required personal protective equipment or PPE. Be sure to use gloves when cleaning restrooms, working with chemicals, cleaning your machines, disinfecting, and doing front end cleaning. Anytime you are working with chemicals that have the potential to splash in your eyes, it is important to wear safety glasses. It is important that you wear appropriate shoes. Open-toed shoes, sandals, or cloth footwear are not appropriate due to the highly contagious nature of COVID-19. All employees are required to wear a mask anytime you're working in a store. If you fail to wear a mask, you will be asked to leave the store and will be contacted by your manager. Refer to your field service technician checklist. Gather all your needed equipment and tools necessary to perform your cleaning tasks. This includes auto scrubber, propane burnisher, Ecolab cleaning caddy, mops, mop bucket, dust mop, putty knife, broom, dust pan, and cleaning chemicals. When setting up your scrubber, be sure to note the level of the cleaning solution in the solution tank. This will help you to determine how much chemical will be needed to be added when you fill your tanks. When filling your scrubber, use only cold water. Hot water can damage the floor finish. The Tenant 5680 and Advance SC900 have tank capacities of 30 gallons. Therefore, do not use more than three capfuls of the Diversi UHS cleaner for an empty tank. If the tank is not empty, Reduce the amount of chemicals to one capful per eight gallons of water added. Empty the dirty water tank to make sure the tank is empty. Check your floor pads to make sure that you have clean, fresh floor pads. When checking your floor pads, make sure that they are clean and free of debris. If they are dirty, flip them over or replace them. To set up your propane burnisher, first, check the propane tank to make sure you have enough fuel to complete the job. Then check to make sure you have a clean pad. If the pad has debris in it or is dirty, then flip it over to the clean side or replace it. The first step in your cleaning process begins with sweeping the floor. Begin by sweeping the corners and edges, starting at the back of the store and working your way around. Be 
be sure to sweep all mats and carpeted areas. Dust mopping is the second part of the sweeping and dust mopping process. Be sure to get the entire store. Do not leave piles throughout the store. Rather, put your pile in one central location, usually out of the way of the stocking group. Then move that pile to the back of the store when you're done and pick it up with a dustpan. Once you've completed the sweeping and dust mopping of the floor, it's time to auto scrub it. It's important to note that you would never auto scrub a floor without sweeping or dust mopping first. This would cause damage to the scrubber as well as leave scratches and debris on the floor. Be careful when scrubbing the floor not to leave puddles. This can occur by putting down too much solution or taking too tight of corners. If you find you're doing this, adjust your cleaning path or adjust your floor squeegee. Be sure to pick up any excessive water or puddles with a mop right away as this could cause a slip and fall injury. An auto scrubber can't reach all areas of the store, therefore it's important to mop these areas. This would include getting under tables, around corners and edges of the store, around the check stands and the entrances, the hallways, break room, and stairs. Make sure any area that you cannot clean with an auto scrubber is swept and mopped before leaving the store. To turn on the propane machine, make sure the propane tank is secured to the machine, that the tank is open, then turn the ignition key to start the machine. You may have to prime it at times to get it started. Begin burnishing the floor by walking at a moderate pace. As you turn and come back down, be sure to overlap your last path by two to four inches. A helpful tip. Do not stop the burnisher with the pad on the floor. It will leave a circle on the floor. Keep the machine moving when the pad is on the floor. To finish your cleaning steps, do a final dust mop. Make sure the mats are clean. Stairs have been swept and mopped. The break rooms have been swept and mopped. And trash removed from the break rooms. Our next video will cover 
cleaning with the Ecolab Cleaning Caddy. This will cover restrooms and front end cleaning. 